The Cheshire Cat illusion is one of the all-time favourites in my whole long life of searching for effects. It's an optical illusion invented by Sally Donesing and an associate about 30-35 years ago, but I only came across it 20 years ago and I've used it many times. What I like about this illusion, it's very strong and very remarkable and you only need a minimum of props, a small hand mirror, that's all. So the setup is, I'll put it over my nose here so that my left eye is looking directly at the camera. The right eye, because the mirror is inclined, is looking at this right hand wall, which is completely blank. I bring my hand up into the middle of the mirror so I can now see the hand pretty well disappears because the camera lens is more interesting actually. Now here's where the fun begins. As I move my right hand, wiggle, 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 that the camera lens completely disappears. Gosh, absolutely completely. It comes back again after a while, but then it, for the, instantly it disappears as I get motion there. So what's going on? At a very deep level in the brain, there's two channels of vision. One is looking at texture, size, contrast, light, and these things. The other, a more important channel in the brain, is looking at motion. Motion is utterly important. I suppose when we were primitive creatures billions of years ago, whatever was moving was something you're going to eat or something to eat you. So motion takes the priority. And this extraordinary simple test shows it. Now, a better thing to look at it than a camera is a person's face. And for this, you need to get a friendly face, a person willing to sit opposite you and hold their, their face still like this. With their teeth showing and their eyes lit up. And they freeze like that for about five seconds. And in that position, you perform with the same mirror trick like this, hold it like that, get their hand, get their face to stay still. And as soon as you start moving your face, that, that camera then has disappeared again. The person's face disappears. But in a rather interesting way, because there's another factor going on here. The person's face, what actually happens is the eyes persist and the mouth persists for a little longer. The rest of the face just melts away, which is why she called it the Cheshire Cat Illusion. And the reason for that is that the eyes and the mouth are the biggest ways of detecting what a person's mood is when you're meeting them in the jungle. Are they friendly or are they fierce? Are they what? And the best way to do that is to look at the eyes and the mouth and that's what your brain does automatically. So it's playing on two things. It's one of motion and looking at a person's face, which is the strongest thing to look at, and you get this extraordinary effect. If you haven't got a friendly face to look at, I've sometimes looked at a portrait, just a big portrait in, in front of me, and again the portrait disappears while the eyes and the mouth persist. It's really a most extraordinary illusion. It doesn't work for everybody. It doesn't work all the time. So many people have a kind of sense from the brain that says, I refuse to see this nonsense, and you don't if you're not in the right mood. But if you're relaxed and enjoying optical illusions, this one is the one to try because it works so powerfully, and it's really my, probably my all-time favourite illusion. The Cheshire Cat illusion. Find a mirror.